C, you asked me to pay for it. Fuck you because you owe me at least 30 years of a mama that you never were to me. So how about you fucking pay it? Let me calm down and take a bite of my time. I will sit back on my mission. I didn't follow intuition. Back then I didn't want to listen. But now I'm gunning for redemption. I want redemption. I want it. I got it. I want redemption. Don't give up. No. Oh, I know I look all right right now. But catch me in person, Charlotte, North Carolina, because Neat G, the host, is going to be bringing me out on July 21st for y'all's Black Gay Pride. Uh-huh. And I'm going to be a whole snack. What was it? So y'all make sure you come out and come check me out at the Blue Olive Lounge. Yeah, Blue Olive Lounge. I don't know that I'm going to be there. And you need to be there, too, because if you don't, you're going to jail. Period. But it's okay. I'll bail you out if you're a snack. Anyway... Come see me, Charlotte, North Carolina, July 21st. I'm going to be there. And come turn up because I'm ready to shake on somebody's man. I mean, anybody. I'm sorry. I don't want to break up no happy home. Just apartments. Ah! Period. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today... <laughs> You know what? I'm not editing this video. I'm trapping off the iPhone. I got a spot on my shirt. I'm on the way back from Virginia going home and I'm about to eat Chick-fil-A. And I really just don't give a shit. So this video will not be censored. Really, none of my videos are censored, but this really won't be censored. Now from the title, I'm sure I said something dis disrespectful and uh, I, I don't know what I'm titling this video. But, I have a couple things to address. So, it was a woman that had me and a woman that raised me. Shout out to the woman that raised me. I would just like to say you are the shit I am and I love you. You didn't have to do it. I'm bad as hell. But you did it. And I appreciate you. I love you. And one day, you're not going to be working. Um, I'm going to put you in a house. And you're going to have one side, my daddy's going to have the other side. <laughs> Good both of y'all. We need y'all on time sometimes. But anyway, I love y'all. Let me get to who this video is about. The woman that birthed me. I'm gonna try to hold off as much disrespect as I possibly can. Considering that you had me, right? I wouldn't be the goat that I am if I wasn't birthed. You birthed me. Appreciate it, bro. But that's all you did. I would just like to say, when I went to Peoria, for those who don't know, the woman that birthed me lived there. So does my brother. And I have a little sister. Love my brother with all of my heart. That's my guy. Love my sister too. But the woman that birthed me. I'm going to put everybody else in the top. And I'm going to holler at you. Now one day I will hope you watch this video because... I mean, that day you actually told me. Because I don't watch it. I don't watch your video. Mm -hmm. I asked you to watch my video. Now I want you to know. 
the mama that raised me told me specifically go there you know for your brother respect your mama and bring your ass on home that's what I did The reason why I'm making this video is because I got to vent out what I didn't say while I was there. Boom, I walk in the wet or whatever. I see my brother. He looking fly as hell. I see the woman that birthed me. Like, I'm going to wait. <clears throat> She doing whatever she gotta do in the wedding and whatever. I'm gonna just wait. So, when I walked up to her, she looked at me like she couldn't believe it was me. But not like, oh my God, it was like. What's up? Hey, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? Showing my respect. All right. We walk in the reception. I went with my older brother that, uh, on my daddy's side. We were sitting together. Apparently she told him I need to holler at her. You know. I'ma introduce her to my friend or whatever. So her friend was some weird ass weird nigga. Halfway spoke to him. I ain't like his vibe. I guess he ain't like mine neither, hell. But how you doing, whatever? So she said, I've been meaning to talk to you about something. What's that? I need your social security number. For those who don't know, she used to do drugs. Hence is why I guess she had no, you know, she didn't raise me or whatever. So, now she clean. So with her being clean, I'm expecting things to, you know, go different. Uh, growing up she's called me maybe one birthday never remember my age she came to my graduation <clears throat> she kidnapped me when I was 11 because my daddy was tripping. <laughs> she stole all my jewelry um, and left me at the movies by myself at 11. Literally. About to be overnight. After all that shit. You asked me for my social security number first of all as my parent that had me you should have my social you know what I'm saying? That, that's number one but here's the reason why she asked for my social
I got a loan out when I was about 19. Fast for, fast for whatever. To go to school. I knew my daddy wouldn't sign it. She came down and signed it. So now, apparently they've taken her tax refund for her getting that loan for me. Remember, I didn't get to say what I want to say. Huh? I was told by the mama that raised me to not disrespect you. So, I'm going to just say it now. As the mama who had me, you should already have my social. But B, karma's a bitch because <clears throat> that's back pay of child support that your ass should have been paying a long time ago. B. C, you asked me to pay for it. Fuck you because you owe me at least 30 years of a mama that you never were to me. So how about you fucking pay it? Let me calm down and take a bite of my sandwich. I don't like you. I don't like you at all. I'm afraid to have kids. And I blame you. Because I don't want my kids to not have a fucking mama. But not only that. I don't want my kids to ever go through what the fuck you put me through. In your absence and in your presence, somehow you have found a way to fuck all of that up. Somehow. But look at God. I'm grateful. I forgive you. Washing all this shit away. And I forgive you. I don't ever... Ever in my life care to see you again. Please don't claim me. When I have kids, they ain't your grandkids. Out here going through shit in life. <laughs> 30. Trying to figure out why I'm having these feelings and why I get to act in a certain type of way at a certain amount of time and my daddy said I don't do this shit so obviously I got it from somewhere else stress the hell out with life and you ain't dead you just ain't nowhere to be found But you know what? You enjoy the rest of your life. Hopefully you decide to watch this one day. Since you don't watch me and all that. Can I have a Roy t-shirt? For what? What do you want a shirt for? Yeah. 
before I say something I regret I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video I'm 30 years old and it still affects me how my mama still treats me to this day What's your social security number? Oh, okay. You gonna take care of it? Oh, okay. It was nice talking to you. That's all the conversations we had, y'all. I'll tell you what. I'm so blessed. It's crazy. I hope you be blessed too. Yeah, I think that's it. Goodbye. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world. And that's royalty apparel. And you can get it from me. Yes, me. I do everything. I print out the logo. I cut the logo. I pick the logo. I also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt. Then I press it down. Okay, one, two, three. Pop open. Then you got the best logo out in the world, okay? And I got to make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I got to ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right. Okay, okay. Then you got to close it so it can get to you on time. You know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.